Hello, my name is Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars, and a short video clip of a great uh, part exchange vehicle that we've uh, just bought in. It's a Vauxhall Aguila, a 1.2 on a 52 plate, and registered September 2002, and uh, just showing three owners. And the last owner was since 2005. So it's, the, I think it's one of the top spec dealers. 1.2 with a little 1.2 Ecotech engine. So we've got some uh, some nice roof bars, uh, roof rails rather, chrome detailing door handles, side rubbing strips, and some very smart Vauxhall alloy wheels, which uh, are very bright indeed. It really has been very well looked after. Uh, this little petrol, petrol engine, Vauxhall Aguila. So in the boot, we've got some uh, carpet mats, which obviously will valet and, and put back in. Uh, spare wheel has never been used, it is as it left the factory along with its uh, proper Vauxhall toolkit. And the rear seats drop down in a 50 50 split, and there's like a temporary sort of uh, what would you call it like a load cover in the back. Rear wash wipe, high level brake light, little beasting aerial. Great small city cars, these if you've got a small family, very light and airy, lots of. Uh, room inside, some rear back pockets in the rear two front seats, two rear inertia seat belts, so just uh, two not three, so it's a four seater, manual windows in the rear, uh, there's two keys, they're non-remote but it has uh, central locking on the key, basically you have to turn the key in the lock and it will lock all the doors and the boot. Front two windows are electric, to lock all the doors and electrically operated wing mirrors as well. Driver's seat is very clean, it's like a, a brand new vehicle. No undue odours, there are no scuffs or scratches, no rips or tears. The roof line is in very good order. It also benefits from a, an electric sunroof as well. I'll show you the footwell, no signs of any wear because obviously those fabric mats have been down most of, uh, well all of the life of the car I think. So standard uh, Vauxhall features, so we've got the light switch here, uh, front and rear fog lights, just the headlamp beam, uh, normal wiper controls that uh, were standard on all Vauxhall cars, uh, central uh, driver's airbag and also a front passenger airbag. We've got a head-up display with the time and date, there we go, and also a radio with a tape deck. I'm sure this could be replaced with a CD deck should you want it. So normal heating controls across the top. We guarantee the mileage there. You can see it in the sun. 35,628 miles. And I'll just start it up. No undue noises. All the warning lights go out. And it's showing just under a quarter of a tank of petrol. Runs very well indeed. I've driven this personally myself today. Um, it runs without fault. So just running through the uh, documents, we have the V5 here showing two former keepers that the last owner of the car has had it since the 3rd of September 2005. So uh, where are we? So she's had it for over six years, which is always a good sign. So it's, um, you can see there, they've got the um, document uh, reference number so you can check the V5 online to show you. There you go. There's a document reference number. So it's a petrol car and the CO2 is 156 grams per kilometre, 1.2 petrol engine, Vauxhall Agila Club 16 valve multi purpose vehicle. Uh, date of registration the 4th of September 2002. So the V5 is here. We have a current MOT which expires September the 28th, 2012, and there was no advisories. And the previous MOT was done at 34,000 miles, so it's really not covering great distances at all. We have a smattering of bills that uh, the previous keeper has had. There's one from 2009 for a filter and service, which is in the book, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, in 2007, it had new springs, front discs and pads, and that was at a mileage of 24,000 miles, and that was for £300. 
I think that's the original multi-point check from maybe the uh, original Vauxhall dealer. But the service history, all stamped up, which is lovely to see. So serviced in uh, 2003 at 2,000 miles, and then 15, 20,000 miles, 25,000 miles, 31,000 miles, and last, 9th May 2011 at 33,000 miles. So lovely to see a good, full, comprehensive service history for this great little Vauxhall. There's also a uh, spoiler sunroof instruction manual pack that came with the car. I'll just show you actually. Everything works on the car. Both electric windows operate as they should, as well as a very smart electric sunroof, which obviously has the tilt and slide facility as well. So uh, we have the radio. So everything works, the fan. Everything works on the car. Wipers uh, and the rear wipe as well, as you can see there. The only fault I can find inside, some of the silvering has uh, disappeared and peeled back from the rear view mirror. Um, but that could easily be changed. And we've got also vanity mirrors in the front passenger and the front driver's side as well. Uh, adjustable seat belts for the front passengers. So what a light, airy, great little car uh, this is. So under the bonnet of the Agila, everything is uh, aged as it should. Everything is nicely dusty and dirty. There's no oil down the side of the engine. Everything is lovely and dry. Uh, the fluid is as it should be. Um, the oil is nice and clean as well, there's no problems there, no issues there. Um, it's HPR clear of course, and it's nice to see that everything has, everything has aged as it should, so uh, it's not had any accident damage, all the nuts and bolts are nicely aged as you would expect from a car of this age. So before I take you uh, um, a walk around the car, I'll just take you now for a short test drive. So welcome to the test drive and uh, just start it up. All the warning lights go out as I said uh, said earlier. First gear all the way. Doesn't snatch at all. It's nice and smooth. Second gear, third gear. Pull doubly and clean. Doesn't pull to the left or the right. Fifth gear, 40 miles an hour, just under 2,000 revs. It drives nice and straight and uh, it proves that it's been well looked after in service. There's no one due clonks or noises or groans. It feels very, very tight and uh, it's very pleasant to drive. It's got a fair turn of speed. It's a bit ideal for the school run or local shops, and the supermarket, etc. But a lovely light airy feeling here and quite a good upright driving position as well. Let's turn the corners. Now, rackly you can hear is the uh, key to unlock the caps for the alloy wheels to take the wheel off. There's a very special key. That's in the uh, glove box. Um, so yeah, what a great little car. 35,000 miles. Um, last owner has Owned it for the last six years and uh, excellent service history and a long MOT. So uh, we'll just go over this humpback bridge. Yeah, suspension's lovely and quiet. So I'll just pull over now. So it pulls up lovely and straight, no undue noises at all. So I'll just take you now for a final walk around the car. So welcome back from the test drive. So I'll walk around the car and point out any faults I can see. Uh, starting off with the windscreen, there are two minor chips there, but that would not be an MO2 fail because I'm being I'm being really picky. The front of the car, it's virtually chip free. It's a tiny, tiny one there. Uh, it looks very smart. We've got really front fog lights as well, which is nice to see. So as we go around, I'll run around the tyres. So the front tyre is what four or five millimetres. Alloy wheel is perfect, of course those discs have been replaced. Wing mirrors are fine. Um, the running, uh, what would I say, roof rails have discoloured slightly. Um, 
As regards this back tyre, that's practically a brand new tyre, five, six millimetres on there. And again, the alloy wheel is nigh on perfect. There's a little dimple dent there, which could easily be removed by a, a local dent man. We've got rear mud flaps and front mud flaps, I've just noticed. Here, yeah, these were optional extras. And this wheel, this is a five stone on the back, this tyre. Yeah, that's about four, five millimetres tread left. Again, that all up, alloy wheel is absolutely perfect. And this wing mirror is fine off the cars over the it's fine. And this front fire stone, again, practically a brand new tyre, five, six millimetres on that. And the alloy wheel is perfect. Very unusual to see that they've uh, not been scuffed on a car this age. Uh, practically brand new wipers as well. It's always a good sign when someone's got the trouble of uh, having everything replaced on the car as and when it was needed. So, what a bright thing this is. We won't have this for long. It's a part exchange vehicle. So if you're watching this on eBay, feel free to give me, Jonathan, a call anytime for a test drive or to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.